morning guys today we're going to do a day in the life of a cloth diapering mom during the flats and hand washing challenge so let's hop in are you above me I'll get the bone. this is the bone mm -hmm. there you go puppy you gotta throw it throw it So earlier I did take his morning diaper and throw it in here in the bathroom. This is the upstairs bathroom for laundry later. I just did diaper laundry last night after they went to bed. So I don't have to worry about anything first thing in the morning here. I'll just wait for a couple diaper changes. Hopefully wait for Aaron to poo and then take care of the laundry after that. So it actually is kind of refreshing to only have to carry down like laundry laundry in the morning and not the diaper laundry. So I just got the normal clothes laundry done and over here on this side of the kitchen I have my little drying rack from with last night's laundry so I'm gonna fold up these and then get Aaron a new diaper. So I just grabbed these two uh, covers off of the rack and this is my imagine one it's just a single layer and it's totally dry and ready to go but this diaper right is a double layer PUL and it is still super damp so gotta keep that in mind I feel like I've used this in the past in other uh, at least like last year's challenge and I don't remember this being a problem but it's definitely been really really humid and rainy so that could be part of it but the imagine feels totally dry and totally fine but this guy is like literally pretty much still soaked so this is one of the muslin flats and it is in I'm gonna call it a Joe fold but I'll leave it down below if that's not correct <laughs> And we're just gonna use this Imagine cover that just came off the line this morning. Can you say hi? You're just gonna ride your ambulance on it? Here, why don't you ride the ambulance on the new bride? The new brother's new one. You want me to get you some more cars for it? So it's Calvin's birthday this week, and he got this cool rug. He actually found it in the closet before I had wrapped it or planned to give it to him and he was like mom I need this and I was like well I can't nothing I can do about it now so we got to open it early so I actually wrapped that diaper around Aaron just because I am expecting his first morning poo soon and so after he has a poo I'll just do pad folds for the rest of the day because I want to try to see if I can keep it off of the cover you know so the cover doesn't get poopy so that's why I'm actually like pinning it on him to try to hold it in if he does happen to poo, so I'm not gonna be pinning all day unless he doesn't poo all day. I don't know, we'll see. But I will be doing the majority of the day in pad folds, just regular little rectangles. And since he kind of woke up early this morning and I didn't get to show you what his nighttime diaper was overnight, I'll definitely show you what his nighttime diaper for tonight is going to be. And all of his nighttime diapers yeah. are essentially the same, so you'll be able to see what he was wearing last night, um, tonight, or tonight's nighttime diaper. I love coming outside first thing in the morning and checking on the garden when it's nice and warm out. My sunflower finally opened up. I planted a bunch over here, but none of them are coming up. This is one that my mother-in-law gave me that was already started inside, so I don't know what's happening to the other ones, but this little guy, look at him. What do you think, Al? Good. Is he cool? He's so pretty, huh? She's a girl. Oh, it's a girl, okay. She is cute. All my tomatoes are getting so big. We just harvested radishes like last weekend. There's my raspberries. Actually, let me see this. 
Oh my gosh, we're already getting raspberry flowers. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's going on over here? You playing with tractors while you're wearing your construction diaper? So cute. You match, Aaron. What match? His diaper matches with all the tractors he's playing with. Hey, Count, what are we doing here? Waiting for the groceries. All right, just got back from the grocery store. Just did a Walmart pickup like we've been doing for the last two months or whatever. So let's do a diaper change. Come here, Aaron. Okay. Diaper on. Tuck in the butt. Are you going to make a poo? All right, that's another muslin flat. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. We were just using a muslin flat and putting the same cover back on. Still waiting on a poopy butt. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Yeah, right, more peekaboo! All right, we got this surprise while we were at Walmart, or well, in our Walmart pickup. Look! How big it is! There's so many chalks in there. Our other, where's our other chalk box? Here's our other chalk box. We're like totally running yeah, out. Yeah. We have like just little nubbins, so we totally needed some chalk. L. Okay. Now what's next? V, yeah. V, good job. Justin bought a pinball machine, so it's taking up the place where my car is supposed to go. <laughs> but it gives the boys more space to play. Board. So we're gonna do some diaper laundry. I have four flats in here, one washcloth and one cover. So yeah, let's go. I just kind of feel like doing laundry right now. I just left the boys downstairs with the TV on and I'll listen for them if they need something. They're eating some muffins right now. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of laundry. I just been, I've just been doing it like randomly throughout the day, sometime in the middle of the day. I know it's kind of early still, but sometime in the middle of the day and then at bedtime after everybody's gone to bed. Gotta keep the door open so things actually get dry. We live on the top of a hill and it's pretty windy up here. So if I put the drying rack outside, like, 75% of the time it just blows over so I'm just trying to leave it inside the kitchen here with the door open and hopefully it will dry a little bit. So for this diaper cover we're gonna be using the petite crown. I already used this yesterday and I just kind of like hang it on the side of this basket to kind of if it's a little bit damp to kind of dry out a little bit and then I guess we'll just go with this here. This is just a um, receiving blanket. I couldn't think of what it was called. A receiving blanket and what are you doing over here? Are you poopy? I don't know if it's a poopy butt, so I don't know if I'm gonna fold it up or just pad fold it. All right. Yeah. All right, you ready? <laughs> Big boo. Okay, I just cleaned out Aaron's poopy diaper and I wanna talk a little bit about not having a diaper sprayer this week. It sucks. Diaper sprayers are totally 100% worth it. The diaper sprayer that I have is $30 worth every single penny, I will say. I am not having a good time not having a diaper sprayer. It is 0% fun cleaning diapers from poo without a diaper sprayer. I'll talk more about that in the later videos this week, but I just wanted to mention that <laughs> today in this vlog because it's not cool. I don't know how you guys, I don't know how you guys do it without having a diaper sprayer. It sounds like the tiny people are trying to kill each other downstairs, so I better go check on them. What happened, Aaron? What happened? I didn't want him to be low. I want him to be quiet. Yeah. Are you sad? Yeah. What did brother do? I put the whistle away. You put the whistle away? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I ain't going to use it. Okay. Apparently, Aaron was using a whistle, and it was bugging Calvin. That was the problem. Mm -hmm. 
So, I'm up in my bedroom right now, and I just filmed the video for tomorrow's upload. So, I'm getting on the computer right now to add it into the computer, and if the boys are still behaving downstairs, I might try editing a little bit. So, yeah, that's maybe the hardest part about this week, having to edit, you know, film, edit, and upload all every day this week is kind of sucky. I try to do it the day before, but even so, it's not my normal schedule. I usually will film something if I feel like it, put it on the computer later that day, maybe next weekend I might edit it, and then I'll upload it for like two weeks ahead of, from now. So I'm usually a couple weeks out on my videos online, so when you see a video that comes up on here, usually it's a couple weeks old. But for the Flats Challenge week, it, that's not how things go. And so it's very different than my normal upload behavior, my normal YouTube style, you know? So it's kind of overwhelming sometimes. That might be the most difficult part of the challenge is just doing something every day and having to do it all, you know, very quickly every day. Not just like working every day, which I mean, I, there, there are many weeks where I work every day on YouTube, but it's not like I'm trying to upload every single day. Like I'm editing, filming, editing, and uploading all on the same day. Like that's a bit much. Just giving Aaron a new diaper. This is the same cover, the petite crown, and I just replaced the insert with a pad folded receiving blanket. I don't know if you guys watch my regular like day in the life videos, but I'm typically like way more active in the morning than I am in the afternoon. You can see we do all kinds of fun stuff like in the morning, like we'll do like homeschool and stuff and playing outside and whatnot. And the afternoons are like everyone just sits around and we're all a bunch of hobos until daddy gets home. <laughs> Okay, just an update on this diaper, right? Still a teensy bit damp, so I'm probably not even gonna be able to use it today. It's gonna take a full 24 hours for it to be dry, man. Good job. Yeah. You find a cue, Erin? Yeah. There is a cue, yeah. Daddy, 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 daddy. Okay, time for the last diaper before our bedtime diaper. This cover still feels fine. It doesn't feel damp or anything, so I'm just gonna reuse it one more time. And I have a pad folded receiving blanket inside. Are you gonna play peekaboo? <laughs> peekaboo! And I'm actually just gonna take these two inserts in here and bring them upstairs. And I have the bucket here with his diaper from earlier soaking, and I'm just gonna kind of swoosh that out a little bit. What should I even call that? I'm just gonna open it up so it can soak for a little bit before I do diaper laundry later. Okay, so that's just gonna sit until it's time to do diaper laundry. Have a boo boo? Yeah. That's just a freckle. That's not a boo boo. Yeah. Oh, I'm in the faces. So don't ask. Okay. Okay. Are you comfy, Daddy? So, for his nighttime diaper, you can see it in my favorite folds video, which was just like yesterday's video, maybe. I'm just going to do an origami fold. And I've been folding the crotch a little bit more narrow for him. So that'll be wrapped around him. No pins, just wrapped around with these big old wings on the origami fold. And then I'm just going to add this little pad folded. These are both muslin flats, and then I'll put a cover on top of that. That'll be his nighttime diaper. Okay. 
gonna have to bring this diaper upstairs for the morning time because we don't have any diapers up here for morning time. And definitely living in a two-story makes things a little bit more difficult when I have like two different diaper changing stations, like one upstairs in his bedroom and then one downstairs in the living room. If I lived in a ranch and we just only changed diapers like in his bedroom, it would make things so much easier, like especially like the wipes situation, because if I only have like 11 wipes for all week, then I keep them all downstairs and don't even worry about having a couple upstairs. So just little things like that. Living in a two-story, I mean, there's so many other things that I hate about living in a two-story but the diaper situation is definitely a big one. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the videos this week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Do you wanna say bye, Carol? Bye. And say bye. Bye.